again, ladies and gentlemen, another training video. As you see here, I decided to go ahead and do a deload to get my joints to rest. So basically, I'm just doing this workout with a whole bunch of reps, mostly just bodyweight exercises, suspension training stuff, and bands. You can see I decided to start off with the hardest exercise of the day, which of course would be the pull-ups, wide grips. So I basically did as many wide grips as I could within a four-minute interval. And from there, we're right into doing as many suspension training as I can do within a four-minute interval. And of course, today is February the 14th, 2016. Which, of course, is the happiest day in the world, which is da -da 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 -da, the 25th anniversary of Street Fighter 2, which, when it hit the arcade, is probably extremely influential to all fighting games that come afterwards. I know we had Double Dragon and a few other ones like Karate Chat. Well, don't really want to count Karate Chat, but hey, Double Dragon was fun and so was Kung Fu. But anyway, without Street Fighter 2, we'd have no Mortal Kombat. And SNK's library would be very, very mean, and you would probably pay $700 for Neil Geo with one or two games for $20 a piece. So, yeah, you'd have wasted your money in multiple, multiple ways. But anyway, back to the workout. After doing my spin trainer dips, I went right to doing spin trainer back rolls, also known as body rolls. And these are an excellent way to really target your lats a little bit lower than a regular pull up, and also a good way to get people prepared to do real pull ups later on. Okay, I also had to follow up a uh, pull move with another push move. So right now I'm doing resistance band push-ups. As you can see, I'm actually using the P90X bands. I pretty much went ahead and got these to target around several 20 bucks. And plus, I like the extra pan to get for your back when you're using them, as well as the handle. So hey, you keep your wrists intact and also keep yourself for your lower back. It's been about back, so I'm right doing some resistance band bent over rows. And also with this exercise, once again, make sure you kind of go in a semi-squat while you're doing it and don't twerk the weight up. Even though you're using resistance band resistance versus the actual dumbbell or barbell, you still don't want to twerk up the resistance because you can still snap some stuff up. But well, anyway, after doing that, I went right into a super set of doing suspension trainer decline flies with suspension trainer incline flies. Finally, suspension trainer back flies. So basically, lower chest, upper chest, and then finally, upper back and rear delts. Yes, I know that like Vega doing a swan dive while doing this exercise. Well, this Vega was better than Geki from Street Fighter 1. And yes, I had Street Fighter 1, and of all things, it was on DOS! Sorry for the rant, but that was probably the one of the worst versions of Street Fighter ever created. Next is Spectrum Sinclair, which I'm actually grateful I did not have a freaking ZX Spectrum back in the day. <laughs> I just had MS-DOS on a very slow PC, which was pretty much bad enough. But yeah, that game was... Street Fighter 1 with Atari 5200 style graphics. Super herky jerky animation. It literally looks like Soft Park on crack. And the biggest sin of all is Ken Sprite. The two player mode works, but barely works on there. You have a controller plugged in, but as soon as you pick Ken, he doesn't look like Ken. He looks like Swamp Thing. They literally traced reuse Sprite in green. So Ken looks like Freaking swamp thing! Yeah, very, very bad horse of Street Fighter 1 exists, and uh, yeah, Street Fighter 1 was like the best game, but yeah, Street Fighter 2 fixed a lot of that stuff. Even the PC ports were close to the arcade, but not quite as good as SNES version. Anyway, back to workout. Went ahead and did some decline chest press for four minutes straight with my bands. Okay, time to insert another random comment. Also had Street Fighter 2 on the original Game Boy, and now it's better than the MS DOS version of Street Fighter 2. Yes, Street Fighter 2 had better graphics on DOS, but Game Boy had better controls. Enough said. <laughs> then followed up the decline chest press with some kneeling lat pull downs for four minutes. Then decided to follow up by working on my Hulukus! Hulukus! Hulukin! Hulukin! <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Anyway, I'm doing some reverse grip, incline chest press with the X bar, and I followed this up by doing some pretty much the full superset. So basically, it was 
reverse grip, incline chest press, you see right now, then a wide grip, regular grip, incline chest press, followed up by a wide grip, back row, and then finally, a neutral grip, reverse grip, back row. Okay guys, that's something else totally awesome about Street Fighter, which would be the Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha Series. It's basically the 3D Street Fighter games before Street Fighter 4, because these are actually were mostly 3D, just all polygons. Yes, I know they're like real dated now, but back in the day, they were freaking awesome and are still awesome. So if you have anything that can play PS1 games, you always yourself to at least try them out. You know, I'm dating myself a lot by saying this. When I first saw the intro with 3D Sagat and Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha 2, I was blown away as a kid. That was probably one of the most awesome game intros I've seen in my life. And while we're on the subject of Street Fighter and PlayStation, you got if you have not played Street Fighter Alpha 3, you owe it to yourself to definitely play Street Fighter Alpha 3. Even though I, even though I do think the Dreamcast version is probably the definitive version of that game, definitely try it out for either PlayStation 1, Dreamcast, and if you're in a pinch, the Game Boy Advance version is also good. But well, anyway, that's enough of me rambling about Street Fighter. Let's continue on with the day's workout. Okay, basics wraps up my training session. So right now I decided to go ahead and finish it off by doing 12 to 16 reps of atomic push-ups. So I did probably about three sets of this. And you also notice I'll throw a few oblique twists in there as well to kind of work on my obliques at the same time. Well, anyway guys, to the end of this video, thank you guys so much for staying this long and watching it. And please rate, comment, subscribe, and until next time, peace out.